Do you want to learn something I didn't know? And more importantly, how it affects performance? In Power Apps, when it comes to getting a specific record, there are a few different ways to do it. This first example drives me nuts, right? So the idea here was they filtered out the table to get all the records that match, then get the first record, and then do a dot first name off of that. It gets the result, but I don't like it. It's extra code and it just feels slow. Then there's my way of doing it. So we use the lookup function, which gets the first record that matches a criteria of last name Young, and then we do a dot first name, the column off of that, and that gets Nicola. That looks great. And then finally, we have very similar, but lookup employees, last name equals Taylor, comma, first name. So very similar, just different way of writing the same function, and it gets result Jeff. So does any of this matter? Nope. It turns out that if you look in monitor, all three of these make the same exact API call to SharePoint. Since they're all three the same, they all three take the same amount of performance time. <laughs> Mind blown. So which way do you write your formulas?